Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS X571G. The exact model is an X571GD-BQ2340. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and replace the battery if your battery is not holding up any more charge or simply just want to remove it. I'm going to show you in this video what to do. And just remember by removing the battery you're not going to modify anything on the system you don't have to do any configuration or anything like that you can use the uh, laptop without the battery and it will work just fine even it will work even better a little bit because it will not stress the motherboard all right to get it started first thing first power off the laptop grab yourself a screwdriver set i recommend you guys the ifix screwdriver set so we're going to use a phillips number one if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A, a metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, you're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna remove the top uh, rubber legs right in here by sticking the guitar pick underneath and just wiggling it around and lifting it up. It has a little adhesive. Same thing on the left and right side, do on the board. We don't need to remove the front rubber legs. Now we're going to see hidden screws right on the uh, rubber feet. We're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Now that we remove all the screws, all we need to do is to Grab the laptop, grab the opening tool. You're gonna start from the back end. You're gonna stick the guitar pick between the top and bottom cover about one or two millimeters, not much. And we're just gonna work it around, just twist, 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 all around on the back, go in the corners, to the sides, by the speakers, all the way to the front end, and do the left and right side the same way that you did. All right, once we did the left and right, I don't want to do the front, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can do it. As long as we wiggle around, it will release the bottom clips. And there we have it. And the battery will be just right in front of you. This battery information is really ridiculous that they have it on the other side of the battery. So if you just open it, you can't see the information unless you flip it over. To remove it, there's one, two, three screws. Let's go ahead and remove these three screws. Again, the screws are the same size and height, so Keep them together. Once you remove the screws, all you need to do, grab it from the front by the jack and lift it up and pull it out and there's your battery. This is an 11.52 volt, 42 watt hour battery. The model for this one is a B31N1732. So let's say that you got the new battery Okay, it's kind of weird. This says is a rating is for 11.52 volt, but right over here it says 13.2 volts. So, and it is at 3,500 milliamp. So it's kind of weird that they have here it says 11.2, but here it says in some Chinese letters. In here it says I don't know if you guys can see it 13.2, but I have two 11s right there. Anyway, so let's say that you got a new battery. I'll try to get the link for a compatible ones. I'll leave in a video description. You want to put the bottom right here. There's a little pin right here. You stick it right there. This side has to go right underneath this hinge and bring it down and squeeze it right there in place. And once you have it in there, just put the three screws that you removed on the battery. One on the corner right and two in the middle. Just remember, once you have the battery in there, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off and connect the charger and leave it on charging for at least five hours. And after five hours, you want to just power on without the charger and you want to drain the battery you know, completely. Once it's drained, you want to plug again back to the charger, power it off, plug it in. So you can do first initial charge and discharge completely. So before you start using normally. Now I put the cover on, I squeeze down. If you see any opening, just pinch them together and it will go to its place. And the last thing down here is to put the bottom screws on the cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. 
If you did, you know what to do, click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up these screws.